loved the way women were dressing, like in the back home in Nepal to India. And I was just like fascinated by um, the transformation of my, let's say just my mom from like a day to day, what she was wearing and during the day and working. And then when, as she was getting dressed to go out or like to go to an event and you know how it completely transformed as she put on her jewelry, as she put on her makeup, as she put on her clothes. This, I think it's a very ritual, ritualistic, very almost uh, spiritual process how women dress. I came here, started, went to Parsons and won the best designer between Parsons and FIT. Went to Cynthia, worked in design and then also did production, then went to Bill Bass as a design director and finally launched it. And when I was ready to launch it, um, I was, um, I just called up my few of my friends and I said, listen, I'm ready to do this. So everyone came on board. So whoever thinks, and I get a lot of times, oh, it's like an overnight success. It took 10 plus years of hard work to achieve this overnight, so-called overnight success. I paid my dues. I really, really worked hard. For me, an inspiration could come from anywhere. But usually, when I look at a fabric, I should be able to picture it in my head. I should be able to visualize it. I should be able to... And usually when it turns out, and, and sometimes like, you know, I'll do the sketch and sometimes I have my team, like, you know, like, um, or like interns, like, you know, they'll be all like sketch. And um, I'm very democratic that way because I know, for one thing, that not all good ideas come from me. But we do this whole editing process. So if I can see a fabric and I can visualize it in my head and then turn it into a sketch and that turns it into an actual garment, it's... Um, it's a feeling of such satisfaction it is when what you've pictured in your mind has turned into a reality. I would say my first time that someone wore it was probably in Zoe Saldana and that was a dress that got me like you know open doors for me and to have her it was a big movie for her it was Star Trek premiere and to see that it was um, it was incredibly surreal it was um, everything was kind of like felt like it was aligned, you know, and it was in my favorite color red and she looked absolutely stunning. Trust me, like when I say this, like it happens in America only. Maybe it will happen in other places eventually, but for a guy like me coming from Nepal, knowing no one, going to school, cultivating that, working hard. It is a country that if you work hard with integrity and passion, things will happen for you. It is. It's purely that, and it happens only in America. And I'm living proof.